Conway's Game of Life, part four. Let's get into it. Okay, so down here we added a logging guard for Tileboy. If this is one, then logging is on for Tileboy. We haven't wrapped all the Tileboy functions with that logging guard. And here's our illegal stuff section. So this section right here, not truth mask. We had a whole bunch of guesses for what the truth masks for uh, Geometry Bomb and Fata Tiles were. And the answer for that is C underscore mask geo mask bomb and mask fata. We need these to detect whether or not a tile exists or not, right? Because if we take a zero tile and we rotate it by 90 degrees, that leads to a non-zero binary pattern in our binary tile value, even though it's still nothingness, right? It's kind of like having a negative and positive zero, right? That's kind of the same idea of what's going on in our engine there. Okay, in tile boy... I was looking for that mask value, and I knew that the ray test function, the ray test function was using it. So I added some tags to find the ray hit test section, and then I also added a little bit of a about this function section to this function here. Now, we're not concerned with this function. I was just looking around at it to find the mask values, right? These mask values that are being inputted in here, I'm concerned about them because I want to use them in my code. So this function right here was spitting out a lot of logging messages. And so I used that log guard right here to turn this logging off. And it did not give me the performance increase I wanted. In Conway's Game of Life function section within rule set one, we have the tile size, the layer, and the mask. And we're only going to use the 1x tiles on the geometry layer here. And then here's the bounds of the simulation. Here's the binary tile value off the tile map, whether or not the tile exists, and the number of neighbors. We're going to loop through every simulation tile. We're going to get the tile, and then we're going to figure out if it exists or not, and then we're going to do more simulation code here. So like, subscribe, send money in the mail. I'm Kanji Coder. If you want a longer explanation, you'll have to go here. We do not have time here. If you just want technical demos, you can go here. And uh, hey, add me on Discord right here, Kanji Coder 0255 and I will add you to my Discord. So like and subscribe, send money in the mail. I'm Kanji Coder. I'm working on Atomic IV MMO, a fully destructible fractal geometry bomb game. We have proximity mines that have vertical, horizontal, and four-way blasts, as well as an instant kill mine that instantly detonates when you touch it.